Here are your top 5 unique, weird plays that you probably have not seen in any other highlight reel. Make sure you check it out and subscribe to this channel to stay updated. Crystal, it is you. I have not seen you for... Oh, it's been so long. Number 5. We start with a Terror Blade Crystal Eyes with the sickest last second microsecond sunder. It could be bad, a black hole on two. Ice Blast to follow up. Pain might be able to mount this defense. The Earth Splitter comes in. The sunder does bring Tavo low and Crystal Eyes still alive. He has the Refresher Shard sitting in the bag. Buyback now from Tavo. Pain desperately trying to hang on. They'll use the Glyph and now Crystal Eyes oh, on the run. Shard. He's he got the BKB. It. He's got the... Oh! oh. Sunder, he's back up. Crystallize is destroying pain right now. The BKB is ready. He gets four stabbed to the low ground. He kills Duster, kills King RD. And now Payne are trying to pursue. They want to punish this as HFN Primal springs forward. Does find the stun on TB. Then, number four, we have OG versus Mineski. Check out this last second game ending potential kill on Big Daddy Nota, but somehow he escapes with the slither of life. Go for the hookshot and send Mushi jumps in with the astral. That will set something up. The Illusion's trying to block any hookshot attempt. The real one. They've got the kinetic field coming in. They hit No Tail. He's in trouble. The GA comes out the static store, but he looks to fall. No Tail solo. Trying to get dropped down. He gets the song of the siren off in time. He's still in trouble though. He's to pop the BKB. The Mirana chasing him down, but the sleep is there. And he actually might survive. He's used the flutter. He's so fast. Can they get him? He's going to go for the TP, but Mushi might check this. The kinetic field, and he gets away in time. He misses. Looks, he actually gets away in time, and they got Ice 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 on the back of this for OG. Number three, talk about a slugfest. Watch this battle as almost everybody dies. Oh, they could find Moon here. That'd be huge. They're going to look for Mushi who does blink, but he doesn't get across the way. He will pop the BKB. It's going to be a man fight, though. The Astral comes in. Now the Force comes out. Mushi's alive. The hook shot from Jasper. They've already lost Mushi, who's across the way. They will still find that Witch Doctor getting blown up by Moon, who pops his own BKB. He's already used the Star Storm, still trying to fight the Static Storm. Is there. It's on to two, and now Mushi comes back, and they've got the Hex. S4 is in trouble. The Ule Scepter will come through, and it'll keep him alive for a moment, but the arrow will hit. And that will bring S4 down for 68 seconds. They've got the brief fire. Jabs might fall. That's the gem on the deck. If they can find it, they've got the ensnare. They can't get there in time. And Moon just able to get away with the leap. Ice 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 has rotated in. The Hex is back up in three seconds. No Tail gets off the ensnare. Now Mushi coming in looking for the Orchid. The Mirror Image comes out. The Man's Style is there. And they will find this ensnare. They've got the stop. They've got the kill. Mushi dead. Moon coming back in looking for the DK. He finds it for the Song of the Siren. No Tail wants this kill. On to this Piranha. And he will find it. It's a double kill for Jerax. Now Ninja we're gonna get you chased down. This is a battle and a half. Both teams going toe to toe. The Orchid on Jerax doing some work, but not enough to stop him from killing Ninja Boogie. Jerax getting low, but one last auto attack will not be there. And now the Naga trying to chase down the Nature's Prophet, who tries to keep you away, but the Instair is there in time. They'll lose all five. No oh kill, a double kill. Jerax is still alive. The Trance not able to bring them down. Number two, we got some love for our former EG player Zai. Here, a crazy fight is going on, but somehow, some way, Zai managed to make the course chase him, and the fight splits apart. However, the funny part is Zai doesn't even die. They can't even catch up to him. 33, that's a juicy initiation. He jumps in, but the whole stop in the back lines. Zai gets caught, but limp exploded. Black Cat just arrives. Tessie's got a good black cat of damage, but they're chasing Zai all the way up into the trees. It's taking so long to kill off a support, and they haven't even got the no kill. Way. 33 is here for the bar strike. Zai turns for splitter, and Chessie is toast. So many heroes surround, and so many heroes celebrate his death. Oh, I can't believe that Elder Titan stayed alive there. Next, we got Na'Vi versus TNC. This is a very odd and weird scenario because TNC are mentally destroying Na'Vi. What they do is first they defeat Dendi, Na'Vi safe lane. And because they did that, Dendi wants to go switch to mid lane with Gyrocopter Crystallize going safe lane. As they attempt to switch, TNC read the play and they react. They started to gank the mid players as they are rotating constantly. So basically, the first three minutes of the game was wasted by Na'Vi and TNC are on top. The cooldown timing is actually almost identical for homing missile as well as Shadow Realm. So it just harass away Dendi, <laughs> bottom lane, Maledict first level, they lock him in with the shards and this should be enough damage to kill off Dendi. His regeneration does just doesn't exist. You got no points up in Dragon Blood. I mean, they're gonna try pressuring here oh, on the Terrorblade. Wait, where's the follow-up? Where's... Okay, Cuckoo's there. 
Cuckoo, if Tims can just get the uh, nice little start. There's the Maledict, Shards in, Crystallize. Yeah, he is uh, most definitely Snowball, cancelling TP, dead. But unfortunately for them, their bottle is not there. The better thing for them is the Shards blocking in Crystallize. LeBron trying to keep Cuckoo out. They pick up the Task Guard, try and throw him away. Got a little bit of extra stun to Sam H, but now with the Magnetize, it will pull Tims underneath the tower. Crystallize, as he even try and south through this, does he accept the fact that he's dead? He accepts the fact yeah. that he's dead. Here's a bonus clip where we see TNC's Armel just take over. He literally made a very odd escape where it was even the casters thought he was dead, but somehow he survived. Anyways, these are your top five highlights of this day. Make sure you subscribe to this channel to stay updated with Dota. Life anymore, all the power to battle against Raven. They're doing as much as they can. The Cursed Crown will stun up Raven by his time for Denny to get back to the tower. Great but the stun. Dragon Tail Armel under the tower is too much and the damage, no, the defensive imprisonment. Lil is trying to get that Shadow Realm damage in, oh, and now OD can't get out of it. He's oh wait, wait, there's a small path away from the breathe fire, forced off and blink. Armel is away.